A new bid to fight what's called a diabetes tsunami is being launched by a group of economists. They want the government to tax unhealthy foods and introduce fruit and vegetable vouchers for families with children. Amy Kelly explains. Some might say we've heard it all before, a proposed fat tax on salty, sugary, fatty foods. But others feel it's an idea that can no longer be ignored. Baby boomers right now are looking forward 10 years and wanting a hip or knee operation. Tough luck, the hospitals are going to be filled with diabetics. This Morgan Foundation economist is proposing a two-stage response to New Zealand's obesity epidemic. First, labelling changes to make it easier to recognise unhealthy foods. Then, as soon as there is public acceptance of, of the fact that we need to act, uh, then we can start changing the prices. Tax rates would vary depending on the original price of the product. For example, soft drinks are so cheap it would take a substantial increase, maybe 25 to 50 per cent, to make it a more expensive option than milk. Oh, I think they take you away freedom of choice a bit. There must be other ways of encouraging people to eat healthier rather than just increasing tax. I think it's a bit of a punitive measure. Who decides what's healthy and unhealthy? There's a silver lining. Tax collected on junk foods would be used to make healthy foods cheaper. For the same price as taking GST off fruit and veg, you could actually give all parents a $5 voucher per child per week. Uh, and that would really encourage them to, to put fruit and vegetables on the table in front of the kids. According to another economist, it's a logistical nightmare. It's going to be in the practical implementation that the politicians will say, I'm afraid this is in the too difficult basket. Health Minister Tony Ryle wasn't available for interview, but said in a statement this government's not in favour of fat taxes, that the cost of living is high enough. Amy Kelly, One News.